Hey class, it's just uh, going to be a very brief lecture on county calling. Um, this is uh, another one of our Harlem Renaissance uh, writers. And again, as I've discussed in a previous lecture, one of the problems with the, uh, the guys in the Harlem Renaissance and the women in the Harlem Renaissance is that they had to decide, you know, they felt like they were extremely under the microscope, that everything uh, that they, they, they did was going to be uh, kind of a judgment on the entire African-American race, because that's typically, you know, how, how things go, you know, uh, in minority groups. One person, you know, does something and, and the entire group is judged by that. Uh, there tends to be a propensity toward that, towards that kind of uh, processed by the by the majority um, whatever situation whether it be you know we're talking about race or we're talking about you know team mechanics on a sports team or whatever um, it's just how things work anyways so uh, one of the ideas was you know that that many uh, uh, writers in the Harlem Renaissance face was, you know, kind of should they stick towards more traditional formal stuff? And by formal, I mean, you know, exact structures and poems, you know, that are just the same as what's been used for hundreds and hundreds of years, you know, like sonnets with the A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, you know, rhyme scheme and the couplet at the end and 16 lines and, you know, all the kind of stuff we discussed earlier or sestinas or you know, villanelles, you know, or ballads or whatever has a fixed meter and a fixed rhyme scheme. There was the idea of should we stay with this or should we be more experimental and try to capture the natural linguistic, you know, patterns or colloquialisms or, you know, the way that, uh, you know, that group whatever their group the writer is of, African-American or German or whatever, whatever that group does. And so count, County Colin was one of them who chose to, to be more traditional. Um, he, he felt that, that, you know, cause look, formalism has, this is how it fits in. A, this is how it fits into modernism. Sorry. This is how it fits into modernism. You know, with modernism, uh, some of them are, you know, if you'll notice, too, the characteristics seem a little contradictory, you know, traditionalism versus experimentalism. And so when we talk about like traditionalism, you know, that can cover everything from the way the poem is on the page, like structure, like a sonnet or it's subject matter or theme. So so some of these so you can have both at the same time in modernism because you can have someone who sticks to traditional themes and subject matters but uses extremely experimental stuff on the page, like, like you know, how E.E. E. Cummings does crazy stuff. Or you can have somebody that has new themes and subject matter, like many of the Harlem Renaissance writers, but has traditional form and structure, like a sonnet or a sestina or, you know, whatever. And so County Collins, one of these guys who is writing some new material, you know, we haven't heard much of before, you know, at this point in literature, the African-American experience in America, and uh, is uh, using traditional forms. He felt that um, it was very important to be able to use the forms of English poetry. The you know, if we're gonna, you know, the the, you know, instead of like you know, um, um, the kind of new kind of new stuff that some of the other writers in the Harlem Renaissance were doing. Um, so, you know, he, so you can see by his poems, you know, yet do I marvel an incident, for example, the two that we're looking at here, that these are, you know, have a fixed rhyme scheme. You know, we've got a sonnet here, for example, it's very traditional rhyme scheme, you know, and all that good stuff, but, um, you know, but new subject matter in terms of race. All right. So anyways, uh, that's just really the defining characteristic of, of, of this uh, writer. They called him the Black Keats, the Black John Keats. Um, so, you know, I, I guess because of the traditional 
structure and, 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 you know, uh, you know, sonnet structure and using those traditional forms of poetry. Uh, a poem structure is also called as form, just to remind you. All right. 